Hello again, YouTubers. I am Minanol3, here with another great toy unboxing for you. We are in a different location than usual, as you can see, because we have something a little different for you, a little bit more massive. We have... Da -da. We've got Godzilla! Yes, that's right. Crashing through a city near you is the new massive Godzilla from Jack Pacific. It is the longest Godzilla figure on the market today. He's over 43 inches in length. That's over three and a half feet long and 24 inches high. That's two feet, ladies and gentlemen. He has 12 points of articulation, a powerful swaying tail, and his mouth opens and closes. Godzilla is highly detailed and will be a favorite of children and collectors alike. You can get your Godzilla figure today and start wreaking havoc. It has a suggested retail price of $49.99 and is for ages 3 and up. And if you want to see more from Jack Pacific, you can of course also check out their YouTube channel. Um, to give you a look at this box, I'm behind it right now, you know, it totally engulfs me. I'm, I can hide behind it, you don't even know that I'm here. But anyways. Look at the box here. It is over 40 inches long, it says in the box, but we'll get our tape measure and stuff once we get out. Um, I believe it is actually over 43 inches long. Uh, the only assembly that will be required is putting his tail together and attach it to the body. Uh, as you can see, swinging tail, giant size Godzilla, again it's from Jack Pacific. Here's the artwork on the side of the box. Reading off the back of the box here, Possibly the last of an ancient species of giant amphibious creatures, they evolved at a time when the surface of the Earth was over 10 times more radioactive than it is today. Godzilla can convert his radiation stores into a violent, focused exhalation of atomic ray. Rarely seen, but spoken of in ancient Pacific Island myths, Gojira was last spotted in 1954 when the U.S. Navy encountered and attempted to kill him with an atomic blast in the Pacific Ocean. Since then, the giant creature has been living in the deep ocean until a threat to his survival from an ancient foe forces him to reappear. So, again it says, jaw opens and closes, fully posable figure, tail spins back and forth. There's a kid, there's Godzilla. Godzilla's taking that kid down. So, we will get this opened up and we'll give you a closer look at Godzilla fully assembled with all of his massive glory. All right, we got him out of the box. And once you have Godzilla all unboxed, you have a great new toy for your pet. Right, Milo? Now we just have the minor assembly to do, as you can see right now. He is without his tail. So, I believe it's a pretty quick and simple thing here. Here is most of his tail. Just goes right in there, I believe. And then twists into place, like so. So that is done, and then we've got one more piece of tail to go. Looks like it just sticks right in there. May have to screw in or something here. There we go, looks like that's nice and snug on there. Now he is, you know, as wide as the table. I have to bend the tail upwards so you can see the tip. So there is Godzilla fully assembled. It's Godzilla! And as it said, it has 12 points of articulation. One, it has the opening and closing mouth. Two, the head slash the neck. Three, four, five, goes all the way around. Six, his legs, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. So, then the tail has points eleven and twelve there. Not. Sure. I think that one is not supposed to move. That's why that came apart because I undid it. But there you can see is the main joint of the tail. And then you also have the rotation part on here. Actually, the very tip here of the tail, hard to get it into frame here. This part rotates as well. So, give you a close up look here at his face, his beady yellow eyes, menacing eyes. Give you a look there inside of his mouth. There's his tongue. Very menacing creature. Those lovely teeth. I'm not sure how well you can see it in the video here, but there is some coloration on the chest. While he's like mostly, you know, a dark, basically a black in color, he does have some like greenish, navyish tints within the chest. So it has some nice coloration. It looks like they may have originally planned it on having sound, as it looks like there is a grooves there for sound to come out, but they decided to make it a basic figure, probably keep the cost down, make it more affordable for collectors and children alike to play with. Um, again, the suggested retail price is $50. Um, let's see here. Just give you a look here. The tail is pretty much self-swaying. If I just sway him side to side here, you can see the tail moves a lot more. Again, it's got that much wiggle room there, so, you know, maybe you can do some sweet stop motion animation videos and stuff with him as well. Obviously a very menacing figure. He is I would say safe for children as well, again, it's ages three and up. Um, the outer core of the body is a harder plastic, but while he does have these spikes, as you can see, they're foam, they bend, they're flexible. The very end of the tail is flexible as well, as you can see, so they're not going to, you know, jab each other with the tip of the tail. But the uh, main part of the tail here is a harder plastic, but it is still have some flexibility, as you can see here, and kind of... Oh, well, you can tell it. I kind of squeeze the tail so it's kind of hollow inside. So it's not, you know, a heavy, super hard plastic, but the ridges aren't as soft as the other spikes, as you can see, which wiggle plenty well. All right, with all those details out of the way, let's go over the official measurements here. His height is, looks like, about 21, maybe 22 inches. If you were like to lean him back or something, maybe you get a little taller but still about two feet tall. But the real size here is the length. Let's see, I think we kinda got it in the frame here. You may not quite see the tip of the tail, but let's see tip of the tail to the tip of the nose here. Yep, that's 43, 44 inches. Right here is 43, if you can see my fingers, I don't know if you can, and 44 is the snout. So if you just go tip of the tail, even like the top of the head here is 42, so he's definitely at least 40 inches long, and as the box says, it is over 40 inches long, so that is for sure. So, obviously, just an absolute massive toy, a great value, a great bulky toy, something that younger children can definitely have a lot of fun with and have a lot of creativity and play with. Collectors have a good buy point here as well. So, like, if you're a fan of Godzilla, monsters, just collectibles in general, I had you just picking this up. They should be available at Toys R Us and I believe at Kmart as well. Um, possibly other retailers will end up getting as well, but I believe those are the main two that are expected to have it. So if you're looking to pick up one of these at or around the suggested retail price of $50, try Toys R Us and Kmart first. Um, I know they're on Amazon as well, but only by secondary sellers right now at an inflated price. So you won't find it for $50 on Amazon right now unless Amazon as a retailer themselves stocks them, which I'm not sure if they are or will be. So, that is our look at Godzilla. Again, check out the Jack Pacific YouTube channel to see more great products from Jack Pacific and subscribe to them while you are there. Tell them we sent you. Um, subscribe to us here as well, of course. Give us a big thumbs up for our biggest toy review ever and probably will remain that way for a long time, if not forever. Um, check out our Facebook page, etc. All the links you could possibly need are in the video description box below. So thank you for watching. Godzilla thanks you for watching.
and we'll see you all next video. Bye-bye. Bye, him. -bye. Bye,